and no one will see this. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Schlender Fi- You know what, it was funny when Plummer pointed it out, I'm not gonna do it anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, it is what it is. So, uh, I'm joined of course by uh, my brother Dylan. Hello! And then Maynard Bangs. And uh, you may famously remember them from those videos that uh, have already been The ones been on this channel! <laughs> yes. Have yes, already, you go been... back and watch the video about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Skip it. What about the Lavalanchula one? That one I like. <laughs> I still have footage from the Burning Bright one. I think that one's going to require a little bit more. I think it's, it's fine. They it's can, it's okay. Ship it. Yeah, I'll do whatever. Ship it the way it is. You have to imagine everyone's wondering why I'm wearing a pink shirt. It's because I wore a black shirt today and it looked terrible with the background. You've been wearing that all day. Nobody. Actually, you've been wearing that same shirt for three days going. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it smells like my shirt. But anyway. <laughs> So anyways, uh, anywho, anywho, anywho. We, uh, we got together today <laughs> because... <laughs> That's your one. <laughs> <We're> gonna... <laughs> That's your one. <laughs> yeah, inside jokes that we'll have to explain much later in the episode. Stay tuned. I'm not going. Everybody's familiar with Derek's cartoon impish co-host, Gorkulon. <laughs> oh yes, Gorkulon! Yes. Of course! Everyone loves Quinchy him. Quinchy baby, you can see right here! Gorkulon, get out of here, yeah. you scam! Tee I'll be back! <laughs> I'm just gonna put an image not found. <laughs> well, That's fine. we'll see. We'll see what you do. <laughs> Look, hey, I'm a, hey, can I run my own fucking show right now? <laughs> can you? Very tough. <laughs> the answer is apparently no. <laughs> so what if you just made me watch a thing? It's true. So, anyways, so uh, Dylan and I were talking a couple weeks ago, and he recently has been going and watching the um, the Psych movies. Now, anybody who doesn't know what Psych is, you got some nerve being my friend. <laughs> uh, so Psych is. Great show. Comedy to the max at, at certain points. especially It's very funny, and yeah. it's also a bit of a procedural, so every week there's a mystery that the guys have to solve. It's, yeah, a lot of times the crimes are like nonsensical, so the mm -hmm. jokes are nonsensical. It just really works. Yeah, like very bizarre murders, you know. So the premise is that this one guy, he's super observant. He's been raised by his father to be super observant. Mm -hmm. And he solves crimes. And then, you know, the police are like, how do you know all these details that were never released? And he panics. And he sees like one of the officers that's like part of the, the process he's like oh i see she has all this spiritual stuff and he's like oh i'm psychic i'm a psychic that's why i know why and she's like that makes sense and everyone's like really <laughs> so he and his best friend uh bruton gaster ah, that's my bit <laughs> Bert, Bert and Gustin. Uh, but he's always mispronouncing his name on purpose and he's giving him a fake yeah name. fake nickname this is my associate stuff. jazz hands <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's very good. They named their detective agency Psych, at which point, uh, like Gus goes, why don't you just call this place Gotcha? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a very funny show. If you've never seen it, um, I highly recommend it. Uh, streaming on Peacock, maybe on Amazon Prime. Yeah, sometimes, it's on, sometimes yeah. it's on Amazon. It's on Peacock now. So you know, one I wouldn't mind owning either too if you could get the DVDs. I had the first I, I, three I could, seasons I on DVD. I used to get them for like fifteen bucks at Walmart, and it was it was a pretty good deal. Yeah. So this was like a mid two thousand, like kind of later two thousand show, right yeah. around the time on USA. Well, what about, about the movie? Hold well, on, that's getting what we're to getting it. to. So Dylan had recommended the show to me, and it was one of those things that I just was like, all right, this is. I good. recommended it to Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> the commercials recommended it. We found it at the same time to save time. That's true. Same time to see. Isn't that right, Gorkulon? Oh, Gee, no. you're lying! <laughs> Thank you, Gorkulon, on my side, <laughs> for once. <laughs> He's just laughing. Gorkulon has fun with it. Anywho. <laughs> Guys, I can't do this anymore. So, <laughs> uh, so anyways, anywho. <laughs> Welcome to the video version of Reels of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we go out of our way to exclude Ryan. It was very tough. Aww. <laughs> nah, we love you, Ryan. You have to give him positive He's affirmation. Not gonna see this. I know, but just in case, what if Vern tells him about it? He won't see this. <laughs> Maybe. You mean to tell me there's at least two people out there who aren't gonna watch this? <laughs> at least three. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gorky so died what in about vain. The movie. Then. So there was a television All right, show. So they, they did the television show, and the show, um, in its final seasons, it was it was okay. It it uh, it ends really strong. It, it throws in because it was on USA around the same time Monk was, and it ends with a reference to that maybe Psych and Monk are going to do a crossover. And that event. they share a universe. They share at a least, universe which at is least. Very be cool. Yeah. Monk or Mike. 
Let's go with mics. Hey, speaking <laughs> of mics, I'm going to cut yours. So, <laughs> but, so we were excited, and they announced, oh, there's going to be a psych movie. We're like, ooh, okay. The show didn't end completely in the pits. We're yeah. excited to see the continuation of it. And we're like, and they ended with a monk reference. Is there going to be a monk cameo? The answer is no. No, there isn't. So no. then they announced there's going to be a second psych movie. Oh, so the first psych movie, before I jump to the second one, if you've ever seen the uh, Yang Yang killer stuff in psych, they just do that again. Oh, they, that's the best stuff, though. No, it's but not. But they don't... Yeah. Well, no, no, even if it's you think that's well. the best yeah, stuff, yeah, though, they don't handle it well in the movie. It's so oh, poor. Because it's like all these students are, like, learning to become yeah, serial killers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like... They, like and Gus has, like, a weird fight with two of them. And yeah, it's, it's like, so dumb. Which is weird, because Gus has proved himself to be a good fighter in the show. <laughs> Sean, what are you doing Sean. down there? I already beat him. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's just not good, and I, I have a hard time recommending it. it, it it's not... Atrocious. It's just not what I was hoping for, given the it's legacy. Not the new one. Well, you know, when you have when you have a show going into a movie, they're finding their legs. So maybe you can forgive it. And which brings us to the second one. Oh, uh, so one of the one of the main actors, Timothy um, Amundsen. Amundsen. Yes. He's a great actor. You've probably seen him in a yeah, lot of can stuff. Orkulon, but not Amundsen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like Gorkulon was an in Jericho, like Timothy Almunson was. Wow, well, fair. <laughs> he was. Actually, he was somewhere in the background. I, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, cameo. If you guys want us to do an episode about Jericho, leave a comment. Or don't. We'll do it anyway. Yeah, there's probably a good chance we'll, we'll, we'll a whole talk episode about Jericho. on Chris Jericho. I'm down. <laughs> uh, that's actually should be the angle. Is you're constantly talking about Chris Jericho, and we're talking about the TV show. <laughs> oh, I guys think you just sold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think yeah. it's good stuff. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so he he's good. He's in a lot of stuff. Uh, he plays Carlton Lasseter in Psych, and he had a stroke in real life. Yeah, and so true. when they were going to do the, the first movie, luck. what is wrong with you? <laughs> Did Gorkulon give you that joke? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, that was all about <laughs> because because Gorkulon doesn't understand the English. Also, isn't real. So, uh, but anyways, he had a stroke, so he couldn't be a part of the Psych, the first Psych movie. But they found a way to make him a part of it over like a like a, a video conference call. Yes, and it was a good way for him to like reinforce um, Detective O'Hara, Juliet's. She was struggling with the case. He talks to her, gives her confidence. That was before. It was a really good. It cameo. was a nice moment. It actually, was. might be the best moment of that movie. <laughs> yeah, it's. Yeah, I yeah. would say it is actually. I, I would say arguably it's the best moment of that movie. Yeah. Um, and so in the second one, uh, they decided to make Carlton, who is recovering from a stroke, the main character. But then they were like, "Well, we can't make him the main character because what if he is unhealthy enough to act?" So it feels like several ideas thrown together. It almost feels like a Ghost Adventures episode smashed together with like stroke trauma. It's so, it's so bad. Like it is so bad. It, it is unfortunate. So be, because of Timothy Almunson's condition, they keep him very restrained and contained in the hospital room while Sean and Gus go and try to solve the mystery. Which is not like that... Rear Window. Uh, me, no. Oh, I, they should have done Rear Window. No, they Actually, did not. They, if they just did Rear Window with Psych, that would have yeah, been a great that'd movie. Be, that'd, be, uh, that'd be pretty see, awesome. See, you fix the movie. You yep, fix wrestling, you is. fix movies, you know? Yeah, it fixes bets. Yeah, no, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, back to after, after that unfortunate stroke of luck joke you just made a few minutes ago. Yeah, done. <laughs> well, hey, I'm, but, I control so the edits. <laughs> oh, oh, so insensitive. <laughs> but it's it's just not good. It, not only is it it's not, not fun. It's not fun. It's not funny. They do a lot of stuff. All of a sudden, Gus has like this very serious relationship that comes out of nowhere. Hello. My name is Burton Guster, and this is my partner, White Privilege. Ah, that's my bed. I'm Salen A. Means moon. She is playing like madcap manic in every scene. It just it's none not of the it. Same woman from the third. It, it is. is the same oh, woman from her. the third one. Yeah. Yes. And, she, and she's actually is a good. She is a good actress, and I know that she's the show. She's a uh, Dulé Hill's it, wife it, in real life, so that's probably why they're working together. It just doesn't work. Like it, yeah. it's so. It's so. It just doesn't come together at all in in any way that is is entertaining. The the setups are so obvious that when it comes time for the payoff, you're almost like, well, it's insulting they didn't figure this out fast. Like the mm -hmm. whole thing with like the ice chips is like they're obviously drugs. You guys are smart enough to figure this out. Why why haven't you? That was like the first you know, thing you they think. Kind of, they've had a history of being drugged off the show too before. Yeah, you know? it's, it's just, like it's just not good. Yeah. It, and hey, this is another problem with things like this. If you're bringing a big name guest star, they're probably the villain. Like who? Mm. Uh, Sarah Chalk from Scrubs. 
She played Elliot Reed in Scrubs. She oh, yeah, she's yeah, in yeah, it, okay. and for like, and we're like, oh well, she must be the bad guy. She's the biggest name attached to it. Well, no, I'll say one thing in defense of her cameo. She comes on to basically make a Scrubs joke, and so if if that's like Dan Aykroyd and Casper, where he just runs away off the screen, and she leaves right after making the Scrubs joke. I could see that, but then as the movie came, kept going, she kept being in it, yeah, so then it was like, oh, well, yeah, then she's probably involved. It's just not good. There aren't, like, very few moments are even comical or whimsical. It feels very jarringly out of tone with the rest of Psych. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. it. it, it it's, it's just not, it's not good. And so then, as if they were like, well, that movie sucked, but we set it up for a sequel, because they set it up, so Gus's manic girlfriend is running around the whole time, and then all of a sudden mm. she's like, Gus... I'm pregnant. And they're like, what? Stay tuned for more Mad Cat Madness in Psych 3. <laughs> da, 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 da. And it's called This Is Gus. So there is a Psych 3, actually. So that's where Which this is Which is funny. Yeah, I thought we were going to talk about Psych 3. Well, I we're didn't see about, the others. We were building up to it. And now you can talk about how much you like Psych 3. Well, you're not getting any steps in. You're sitting down. Well, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> Your heartbeat got kind of elevated. You, you can do this all day. Yeah. <laughs> so can I. Uh, and my heart rate's going up as well. And my uh, heart... Fitbit doesn't sponsor the show, but if they want to... No, stop it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this was our Fitbit. <laughs> Fit. <laughs> Good boy, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't keep any of the good jokes, did he? <laughs> hey, Gorkula wearing a Fitbit just for that one scene. <laughs> if I ever get a woman on the show, that'll be the Fitbit. If you ever get a woman. <laughs> I believe we're talking about chocolate. <laughs> it was 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, so psych, psych 3, this is Gus. Yeah, so it starts... Um, Gus, they, they end Psych 2 with Gus's madcap girlfriend, who is now his fiance, being preggers. And. I think madcap just means she's happy. Like, I don't think it means she's frenetic. I think it means both. You've been saying frenetic a lot today. I learned a new word. <laughs> well. Did you try it for Wordle? Is that how you. No, it's, because it's too many that's letters. Six <laughs> letters, you. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> no, it's seven. <laughs> madcap? Frenetic! <laughs> 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 uh, that was not rehearsed. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> Slender Slender Bar Bar uh, Derek and Dylan can't join <laughs> us, but... Uh... <laughs> but due to a conservatorship agreement, Maynard's in charge now. <laughs> so join me and my co-host Gorkulon every <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh my goodness. It's gonna be a lot more work. Oh, man, so anyway, this so, is so, Gus. So, yeah, this is, is Gus. Um, I gotta say... The f best of the movies. Oh, it's the best of the three, without and a doubt. And it has a lot of that psych energy from the episodes. I thought so. So when we were watching it, my question was, why not just bring back the TV show? Do like a season. 100%. You can have an overarching storyline. Yeah, I know, it's probably the Ah, money. the finger thing means the taxes. Yeah, exactly. But I just don't think psych works as a movie because all of the funny bits would be much better digested yeah. in the context of, a, of like a 40 minute show. No, and um, I mean the movie's only maybe an hour and a half so it's like two episodes kind of stapled together. Right, but it, And that's kind of what it was because the first half of it is really trying to find out the identity of his fiance who is a, not who she appears to be and then the uh, second hold on half a second, of it then maybe we is, should put through a spoiler warning up you should have one at the beginning. We have to, a beginning. Yeah, you gotta do it at Every the one of our shows. You can have Gorkulon fly on. This show is spoiler, see? And then he flies <laughs> off with a little trail of pixie dust. Uh, I love it. <laughs> hey, if any of my friends out there who are watching this and you have any uh, experience in doing it. Animating like, a Gorkulon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, contact, oh, we could get a cardboard one and get, just hold it on dubs? a popsicle stick. Yo, that's an actually. No, that's not Come not right idea. here and come back to a drawn crayon curriculum and, and a bottle of stick. But I want to make it look like it's really like I don't even want to say oh. half ass. I want to talk like quarter assed. I think you could do the best you can, and yeah. it would still be quarter ass. I, <laughs> <laughs> you could put a lot of time and effort into it. I don't know, Derek. More than you do this show, and it would a, still be quarter. Derek, ass. you'll have to put in the graphic of your Greenzo costume. Oh. Um, because Derek made that completely from scratch, and it I looks did. exactly like yeah. Green. So I remember A. Biddy said, "Why doesn't he put this much effort into anything else in yep. his life?" So, so A. Biddy is watching me make the Green Zone costume, and he goes, "If only you put effort into real life." And I was like, "You know what? Get out of here!" Oh man, oh, that's man. A Psych Three. This is us. Awesome.
Gus. <laughs> Beep. Which is a play on This Is Us. Yeah, they, they actually make a This Is Us joke in it. Um, we were so well, busy guffawing. How are we supposed to know that? Because we were guffawing. But like uh, well, at one point, Sean, Sean's dad um, goes uh, something about DVRing This Is Us. And he goes, Dad, you still watch that show? They have the same thing over on ABC, but it's way better. Because James Roday is in A Million Little Things, I think it's called, or A Million Little Pieces. I don't, I don't, little pieces, I don't watch I it. I don't watch it. It's probably it. not funny. James Roday strikes me as a man who takes himself a little too seriously, I feel. I don't think so. You don't think I, so? I think the script asked him to be more serious, and he was like, no. He just couldn't rise to the occasion? It or didn't want to? It does, doesn't want to. That's fine. James, I, mean, I know you're watching. We love you. Don't worry. I mean, when you have He's comfy. those... Yeah, he is. When when you're getting a $300, $300 check a month for your psych royalties... <laughs> you now you know why there's not a show. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't need to do it anymore. Mm. Well, I... Plus, what if they brought it back and tarnished the legacy? That's well, something, actually, we're going to talk about. Um, and the crybaby fans come out on the internet making videos about it. That's us. Yeah, that's us in 20 minutes. It's you in 20 minutes. <laughs> us. This, this is, is us. us. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> so, 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 You're not even holding it. Oh, but he's going to Photoshop it later. <laughs> so he's going to make the prop and yeah. then take a picture yes. of it and put it in. Yes. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's not going to happen. It's happening. So, <laughs> anyways. Uh, so, so, so this is Gus. It's very funny for a lot of it. But even as we were watching, because I had already seen it. And as we're watching it, at, at a certain point, you guys are like, wait a minute, there's, wait, what? Wait, why? And Maynard, you specifically were like, this In like the third act, there's some but that's what I had real said. contrived plot holes, basically about how certain people get around a building. And no, it's, it's just more, like, it's more I can that. suspend this. I don't know, it does feel a little compressed and out of nowhere. So, so what you have to ask yourself is, all right, so. It if, is very contrived to get them into a situation right. that they thought would be very fun. I mean, and it's fairly funny. It's, it's not also really heartwarming, which was dumb. It's 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 forced and out of tone with the rest of the show. It really? Movie. The, oh, I, I think say, the, the show always does really the, hokey. The, 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 the show would get a little stuff. hokey towards the last season. Yeah. They were trying, well, like yeah. they were trying to really put stakes with uh, Sean and Juliet's relationship mm -hmm. that. I just didn't feel and lots of stakes for for you know? just Gus and Sean's friendship. So they would yeah, it's like well, more, more powerful moments between Sean and his father. Sean and his father have some great That's moments in This Is Gus. Better relationships in the show that they explore. I feel. Maynard keeps saying it's like, oh my god, he reminds me so much of your father, and I'm like, yes, but he's proud of his son. I was yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, man, <laughs> his son's done something. Hey, you you can't even Photoshop in this puppet. <laughs> Hey, I've done a lot of things, but the NDA. For... <laughs> so, no, so so this is this is Gus. It's got some good moments. It has some very classic feeling psych moments. It has. Yes. I, I would I would say one of the best jokes in. Oh uh, yeah. It is when uh, Sean looks at Gus and he's like, "We got thirty minutes and like a hundred dollars." To make costumes and we'll meet back. Yeah, there's like a part he's like there's a party city and a yeah, costume yeah. shop and something else. They're all within five minute Thrift walks store, from yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, we got like 30 minutes and like a hundred bucks or whatever to make our favorite our best come, costumes. You have to come with a costume that doesn't pale in comparison to mine. And this is a competition. He this says is a competition, <laughs> he says is the last line. He's like, this is a competition and leaves. Yeah. And that you could part yeah, you could drop that into any episode of Psych and it works. It, yeah, it is one it is it is why psych works so well. The two of them together. Um, when Gus is, <laughs> Gus, oh my god, when Gus realizes Sean is dressed as Rob Zombie, because Sean's like, I look exactly like Rob Zombie, and Gus is like, no, you, <laughs> did you know you looked like him? He's like, not until I put all this on. Yeah. <laughs> but now and it's a he, part of, and he looks yeah. pretty good, it's yeah, really it is a good costume, And then he's like, yeah. now, he goes, now it's just a part of my being. Yeah. <laughs> I thought there were plenty of moments that felt that way, maybe until the final act, like, they have a little tussle in the bathroom that feels very Sean and Gus. It does. Yes. Um, that was a good scene. It's it's, it's hyper exaggerated. Sean trying to steal the purse from the fiance, yeah. and you know, you know, Gus is going to be the one who of bursts course. in. And so yeah. that felt very organic to the show. Uh, I have no complaints about like the first like three fourths of the movie. It's only then it's, that's seventy five percent fine. I, no, that's that, a passing grade. And that's C fine. But I'm just saying, like the way they rushed everything at the end and compressed it, it's almost unnecessary. Like, like, just do the mini series and do like four solid episodes of the, this. The ending is so unnecessary, and and it is a complete like tonal inversion. You were the one who was complaining about Ray Wise, not us. 
That's yeah, no, Ray watches. He's one one too many things going on in that room <laughs> at one time. Would it make a difference if it, you found out they offered him an additional $35? <laughs> that was the other guy. It was Curtis. It was Kurt Smith. Yes, it was Kurt Smith. Smith. But uh, like, I'm trying to blend jokes Of Wham here. or something. <laughs> the new Wham. <laughs> yeah, the, the new Wham. wham. Without the, the H and without the exclamation. The intellectually distinct. <laughs> intellectually distinct. That's the, my joke they took from me. The new <laughs> Wham order. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Last holiday, I gave you my body part. Ooh. <laughs> hey, I apologize. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Welcome to Slender Five. <laughs> We're running out of people that don't have legal obligations to not do the show. <laughs> yeah, it's, cons it's considered a public service. Uh. Uh. So anyway, so we're complaining a lot about um, the the three psych movies, and mostly because they're they're unnecessary. The ending, I can, the ending, they've got a lot of shove stuff. I didn't see two, but Dumb. if you really do think they were setting up three, then they kind of had that breath. There's, but they may have heard like, what was this on? This what was this put on? It's Peacock. Do you have the Peacock? What's that? It's a streaming service. <sighs> There's so many streamers. You know what she's talking about? No, she's making that up. Peacock. Dylan, please, well, I think mention a real streaming service. <laughs> I do like they're digging at Peacock. That's they great. make fun of themselves uh, a lot in the third one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I mean, actually, I do think Peacock would keep producing movies as long as they were willing to keep doing them. Do you, people were watching. You know, I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to call it right now. This is preserved in memoriam. The fourth psych movie is going to be about Despero. And it should be. And it's probably going to be the best one. Well, that would be great. Yes. It'll almost be too good, so I don't think they'll do it. I think it'll take them um, a few years, and it'll be something about Gus's kid. Maybe someone kidnaps well, Gus's kid. Well, they're kind of they're kind of setting up. Well, uh, and then they could bring in Despero. Well, no, they're kind of setting up that. Oh yeah, but Despero is now their mentor. Because they're kind of Maybe. setting up. They're setting up a next generation psych with Lassiter's daughter. Because so this yeah, is, she's very she's very Sean like. In so Lassiter, that's true. yeah, Lassiter that's is raising point. his daughter yeah. the same way Henry raised Sean in the same house too. That's, in, that's in not house. an accident. Yeah, no, no, no they're, they know what they're they, doing. They know they what they're, they're doing. doing. Actually, that would be interesting if it's Lassiter's daughter and Sean's son team up for not like Sean's son, Gus's. Son. Well, Gus. Gus's son, you're right, Gus's son. Because Sean doesn't... Team up. Sean, maybe, maybe there's a hint that Sean and, and uh, Julie? Julia. Julia will well, have a hold child, on a second, but... Though. She's, she's already, like, 11, so Gus's kid... I mean, you're going to talk an 11-year difference. So you're going to talk about somebody in their 30s versus someone in their 20s? They're, it's going to be mentor, yeah, be mentee. Funny. It's not going to be the, it's not gonna be the same... Who is mentored by someone who's 11 years older than them? Yeah, that's not that. Uh, anybody you're who's 11 old, years older than me, don't mentor me. That's it, that's it. I, I stand by it. <laughs> excuse me, but you can't spell tormentor without mentor. You can spell wrong. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> and now a quick message from our sponsor. Perkinan! <laughs> Perkinan! Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> that stuff rots your mind! <laughs> Alright, so this episode, uh, as of filming, you know, it's pretty timeless, but... Was this the Falkland Islands were invaded? <laughs> <laughs> Avoid the Noid. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say uh, is some that... Some reference to Max Headroom? No, it, no what's great is that <laughs> Z Zelensky is 100% alive. That's, a, that's an evergreen thing to say. Well, and one thing that we can bring up is that... Um, Zelensky oh, no, does the no, voice what of... What does this have to do with Psych No, you want to hear something? This is going to be relevant to okay. us. The voice Zelensky of does the voice of Paddington Bear and Paddington 2 for the Ukraine version. One and two, I oh, believe. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah so Ooh, I should we, watch the Ukraine when, version. When we do Paddington 2, yeah. we got to talk to Jeremy about it. Oh, especially in Paddington 2 where he calls for bullets, not a ride. <laughs> Can we get him to do the voice of... Uh, of What's the stupid Gorg <laughs> Gorgulon in, in the Ukrainian, Ukrainian word. version of Slender Five. Five. <laughs> What's the Ukrainian word for five? I mean, I'm sure if we said Vichlo, Slender Vichlo with Gorgulon, all of this has been cut. I hope <laughs> oh, this is going to be on the Patreon. <laughs> I, 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 I will tastefully edit it so that way some of these jokes are. All right. So, anyways, um, I don't think we're gonna. All right. So. Welcome back! No. <laughs> so, <laughs> guess who won his appeal? <laughs> the uh, other guy! <laughs> you know what? Th th this uh, this conversation has been more entertaining overall than all three psych movies combined. <laughs>
Wow, you know, that is true. Though. I don't know. That, it, it, you're always so negative about things. So no, when, I'm not. When you initially brought up Psych, you are like, oh, it was everything. awful. And he doesn't. He was like, oh, the new Psych movie's awful. And then we came over to watch it. And then you were like, oh, I like everything but the last, but the end. And it's like, yes. If you like everything but the end, the movie's fine. No, we're not saying it's bad. We're just saying you almost wonder, like, it tanks the end. What's the, the point ending? Tanks of doing the experience. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, hey, guess what? That that <laughs> the Hindenburg was doing great until the landing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, the ending fucking uh, matters. But I, I would. Uh, but it does. It fucking matters. But the matters. first bite of pizza is great. By the last bite of pizza, I kind of don't like pizza anymore. I'm kind of done. Okay. Doesn't but mean imagine, it was a bad pizza. Now, we mentioned Ryan. I'm going to bring up Big Ben. Big Ben puts a huge premium on how movies end, and I want to respect Well, you should. Him. You should, because you're talking about a capstone event. <laughs> yeah. Like, movies are supposed to be the cap... With very few exceptions, do I find an anti-climax entertaining. Would you say, like... Well, I mean, unless you know it's going into more Holy movies, Grail. <laughs> Right, like holy grail. Oh, they they pull that off. That was great. Yeah, <laughs> but like, well, because like they paint themselves into a corner. And yeah, then yeah. They no, just, it's, but it's great. It's, they just like walk across the paint. Then I or like care. even like, like for example, something that's a little bit more like cinematic, like No Country for Old Men, doesn't really have a strong ending payoff, but it yeah, hits. He gets hit by a car. No, he gets gunned down. In the motel. No, well, no, we're talking about sugar. Yeah, was, sugar Anton Sugar ends up getting, oh, getting okay, in the, okay, okay. hit by the car. Yeah. I do like Tom Jones's speech. Tom yeah, Jones's speech really that Jones. But it is. No, no, Tom. that's what he said, though. Like, it's not it, unusual it, to be gunned down gun by John Runners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like I'm saying, the end of No Country for Old Men is very, it's not, it's, there's no You're real right, climax. It is kind of it's, it's, it's like, it, yeah. okay, but this one has the birth of a child and a wedding at the same time, which I think is too much. But then you've got the music video, uh, the Wham music video. Which I had to explain to is, you. Oh, totally. I don't get it at all. I think it's way too deep of a cut. But uh, uh, And it's a weird way to like, end the I've movie. I've heard is... Last Christmas, but have you ever seen the music video for Last Christmas? Check his heart. They did aha <laughs> jokes. No, what? No, they did no, <laughs> Fine. Well, it's Last right. Christmas. Two steps. <laughs> <laughs> last Christmas. 72 over 3. That's, uh, that's normal. Uh, Wait, <laughs> what? No! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like, they My also do says, jokes. see a doctor. <laughs> they also do jokes about the, the aha, take yeah. on me video, but that's iconic. Like, you know the aha, take on me video. Right. Have you yeah. seen The Last Christmas? So, no, 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 because when he says that then you get chased by a man with a wrench, I'm like, oh, I get the joke now. <laughs> you know? So, it took me a little bit to get it, I suppose. But it is funny that the guy in the movie got it immediately. <laughs> that's just take on me. Well, he knew he read the script. <laughs> well, that uh, that's a good point. Well, also, I mean, the joke doesn't work if somebody doesn't call him out on it. Yeah. You know? So I just so. I didn't get the uh, I didn't get the parody of Last Christmas because I didn't know the video. Yeah, so it's what's just the, not what's, iconic to me. So what's the future of Psych? Because I do think This Is Gus is at least a step in the right direction compared to the first. I think the two I, kids start working together. Yeah, I yeah. think we're looking at a young justice. Yeah, like I, I kind of like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm, you know, I don't, I don't hate it, and I do think like no, I think there's a lot. Of, I think uh, there's a James Rodin and Dooley Hall love it so much. They'll keep their hands on it, and they'll be involved, and they'll probably have cameos. That would be. Good. I think it's. I think it's the best way. You to keep... You know, there's nothing more they want there's gonna than be to a... be old Sean and Gus, like 50 yeah. years from now, in an episode of Psych. There's, they would love there's that. There's going to be a passing of the torch thing where yeah. Well, they the kind of, of two teams are working in parallel, the old guard and the new guard, and eventually they have to work together to solve the one. Like that episode of Extreme Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. I think, right, for me... We're what have I, to do an Extreme Ghostbusters episode. Oh, I'll have to watch Extreme Gus Ghostbusters. Gus is working with Lassie's kid, and Sean's got to work with Gus's kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, be like, good stuff. So, so be good. I think it would be a lot of fun, especially if... Corbin um, Burnson is still alive. <laughs> he's just, like, super old and super cranky. No, of course he's going to support, like, Gus's kid. Yeah, yeah. And well, Lassie's well, kid. Yeah, yeah, he loves Lassie's kid. He, no, he, Lassie's kid brought him you know, that's the thing. Yeah. He's going to love them and help them in all the ways he never did so, for Sean and Gus. Yeah, yeah. a man who would never forget that. Well, he, I brought he, your father a beer one time. He, he does. He does help. He, he does he, bring it up quite a bit. So, I, so this is what I would really like. Spit it out, Derek. This is your show. <laughs> Tick less and tock. less by the moment. <laughs> Three steps. So, <laughs> so I would love it if they did like a um, like a kid detective almost thing. Like you know, you got like a teenager and a middle schooler, and they're solving like what starts off as childhood crime, but it ends up becoming like much bigger, like kind of like a like Hardy Doogie Boys or, or something like that. Like oh, actually, that it, could be a lot of fun. Wouldn't that be fun? Right? And yeah. then like they're constantly asking like Sean and Gus, but Sean and Gus are investigating something bigger, and so you could have a lot of background but jokes. They're linked. 
Yes, the crimes oh, every are linked. once in a while. The crimes, it's, it's like the monk thing. It's yes, the same, same crime, yeah. but but it would be like, like brick. brick. Yes. But it would be very funny to watch these kids start with such a small thing, and in the background, like Sean and Gus trying to solve. Like it's like, sorry, kids, we don't have time to deal with this. We got a triple homicide, <laughs> and they're I like, saw this movie. It's Ace Ventura. Pet detective. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yes, only, you know, without making fun of the Miami Dolphins, because they make fun of themselves. They deserve. That's probably the best thing the Dolphins have ever been associated with. The undefeated Not season? The undefeated season? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who'd they beat? Bunch of chumps. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was a 14 game season. <laughs> Na name. Okay. I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're living in the past, old Was man. Was that the 76 <laughs> Dolphins who did that? We'll have to fact check it. We'll put the uh, info right here. Your face is where I put graphics. So I'm going to have to cover <gasps> your stupid... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs>